Hello, this is just a quick overview of the architecture. Hopefully this helps people on board a little bit better. I'll probably throw this video on a wiki of some kind and um, hoping to uh, just make it a little bit more transparent the way the project is set up, the directory structure, and I'll do a little bit of walkthrough on where kind of functionalities live as well in these um, directories. But um, starting at the high level architecture, um, this is the Electron Studio for Onlook. Um, what you see here, this whole view um, is a browser view. And so for Electron, um, the front end is actually sitting inside of a browser kind of view. Um, it's Chromium specifically. So this is the front end. And then the back end is a node application that's running similar to a node server. Um, what's interesting about um, Onlook is that there is also an inside view where you see your own app and your app actually behaves as it would on a browser. And that is because it is a browser. So this is what is known as a, um, a browser view tag. Um, which is just a browser inside of the browser that we're running it on. So that's kind of like the high level architecture. Um, you have the main process of serving a browser view, that's serving a web view, sorry, web view tag. Um, and so that is essentially just the big three things that we want to contend ourselves with. So when you look at Onlook Studio, um, when you come in, you see an app uh, folder which actually is the Onlook Electron app in there. Uh, then there are demos, which we have a Next and a Create React app demo. Um, I'll probably throw some more like Remix and Astro or some other demos in there. Uh, that does make the repository big, but I just want people to be able to get set up quickly. And we have a React app uh, for our docs, which is actually just a React app um, with Next um, that has Onlook um, our plugin setup. So we're actually going to use Onlook to build out the docs um, for ourselves. Um, hopefully this video will end up on that docs as well. And then there's a plugins folder which are the uh, aforementioned uh, preprocessor. So the way Onlook works is um, instead of doing all this setup with uh, React and adding a new component or whatever, there's only really one line of code change to make uh, Onlook work with your app. So, for example, here on localhost, I'm actually running the demo app, which is just a regular React Next.js app. Uh, but it has the preprocessor added in, which allows us to essentially understand where each uh, element, um, like any DOM element, is mapped back to their code because of this um, because of this preprocessor. So it's adding a tracker um, that gives the editor information on where the code is. And so every time it refresh, recompiles, um, so at any time you change the location of the, the chunk of code, it'll recompile anyway, right? Uh, every time it recompiles, it'll update that tracker as well. So we always, we always have the freshest um, tracker of this so for example if I'm like boop 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 move that down it'll re it'll recompile and it'll just find it because the tracker also recompiles. So that is the there's one thing I would call secret sauce, which is not secret, so open source. Uh, it is that. And so all that is to say that plugins for those, there are two versions uh, at the moment and they're pretty straightforward. Honestly, uh, there's one for Babel and there's one for Next. The one in Next is written in Rust, which I'm not very good. So if you look at it, it's probably doing some stuff that I shouldn't be doing. The other one is in JavaScript or TypeScript. Um, and then if you look, it's actually quite small. Um, really what it's doing is just taking all the metadata uh, that we want, like the opening element location, uh, the starting line and column, the end line and column, so we get each tag. Um, their start line, their end line, and whatnot, which helps uh, when we actually parse the React code. Uh, and it adds it as an attribute. And then 
uh, the, the studio will like decode that and find the same element. So it's literally just written in JSON, uh, c compressed into a string format, put into uh, a data attribute called data on look ID. And then when we make some edits, we'll just pull the same ID and decode it and find where it is in code. So that's how that works. And so if you want a new plugin supported, you just add a new one. And then um, how this plugin is used is uh, you can follow the readme for how it's set up, but I can just show uh, in one of our demos, which is here. Let's, let's just look at the next one. Um, it's literally one line of code. It's this line right here. You just add a plugin into, into your next application. That's it. And you run it regularly. Uh, you can also, you know, conditionally disable this for production if you don't want to expose the tracker uh, information, even though they would need to have your code available to be able to use, do anything with it. Um, but yeah, that is the plugins. So that's really about it for like the high level art, like overall directory structure. Um, so if we look at the Electron app, Maybe I'll do a different video for this, but maybe I'll cut this into two. Uh, it's a regular, very uh, standard Electron app uh, written in React as well. Um, so we'll try as much as we can to keep it all consistently in React for dog fooding purposes. But um, you have this Electron folder, um, which is kind of the Electron scripts and processes. So their main is like the node process, preload are the two scripts. One script is for the browser view, and the other script is for a web view. It just sets up uh, some of the um, some of the kind of uh, logic that we want to expose to those views. And then we have a front end, which is a pretty standard looking React app. And then, um, yeah. yeah, that's really about it. Um, maybe I'll do some more like deeper dives onto some of these um, uh, deeper structure, but I think these would change as well over time. And then we also use Cell and React, same thing. So um, long video, I'll put some timestamps or something. But uh, so that's that's on look. Thanks.